good. Much better. <laughs> If you don't know now, then you will too. And if you don't know it now, then you will too. The ship across the estuary. Sunday's lost in melancholy. If you don't know now, hey, hello, you, you. <laughs> hey, nice to see you, man. How are you doing? Okay. Yeah, how's love after jail? It's not bad. I've, it was a bit strange. I was just <laughs> looking at trees and and uh, and you know. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I we're, I we're spent, on television now. <laughs> I spent two weeks in jail with this guy. <laughs> yeah, and no, I spent two weeks with him too. <laughs> Can you imagine? Hey. Yeah. I have to say, your secret secret was very well kept. Yeah. I, I didn't know, like three three days ago. Frank was it? Frank told me like, yeah, like, yeah. Did you know who Paul actually was? I like, no. Well, like, Frank Big Mouth. <laughs> yeah, a cook from SP. Like, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, like. Oh really? <laughs> it actually makes sense. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's good to see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my cooking was good, wasn't it? <laughs> it was. It, this guy makes excellent vegetarian food. I mean, the gel food was horrible, but he saved us. Yeah. The ship across the estuary. Sunday's lost in how long were you in the prison for in Greenland? Oh, um, two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah, yeah. Two, well, it was two yeah. years. Ah, so you were in prison too? Yeah. Oh, right. And I was cooking in prison too. We went to look for Leif Erikson, and, uh, which is an enormous oil rig, almost like a city. A few days later, we, about 18 of us, uh, very early in the morning, when the shift was ch was changing on the oil rig, we uh, stormed the oil rig and went to the office to try and find, uh, well, to ask um, what their oil spill response plan was. And they basically said, uh, well, we're not going to show you. I think they probably didn't have one. Uh, and they said, if you don't get off the oil rig, then we're going to say, we're going to phone the authorities in Greenland and say you've hijacked the oil rig and we will send, uh, the police will come and arrest you. And that's pretty much what happened. In our wing, um, there's two uh, people from Greenland who are in, in the prison in our wing. And one of them uh, was a fisherman and he said that slowly the fishing community is beginning to wake up and realise what why Greenpeace is there, and he became more and more sympathetic by talking with us. And he said, uh, "Yeah, so if there's an oil spill, we are out of a job." And so slowly, hopefully, um, that will uh, be a positive thing, and uh, then people can actually start challenging uh, the government there about what is taking place, or to find really at the end of the day, find an alternative way rather than just drilling for oil. We're gathered here today to celebrate 40 years of Greenpeace. We're gathered here today to welcome the Rainbow Warrior, Warrior 3 onto the Thames, its spiritual home. And we're gathered here today to ask anyone who wants to make a difference to join Greenpeace.